I started my journey with Monique um, back in November 2022. What led me to that place? I, I just felt really disconnected, disconnected from who I was, didn't know. I suppose at my core I knew who I was. I wasn't connected to my true self and I didn't feel I was acting. I didn't feel in alignment. I just felt all out of whack really. Always people pleasing and I felt I suppressed a lot of my feelings and I just kind of shut everything away and I just felt more and more pain and disconnection on the inside. And all I worried about, well all I thought that was important was to please everyone around me and their love would mean that I would feel loved. But it didn't lead to that. <laughs> and I fluctuated, I always had really good days and really bad days, but they were so external, like what happened in my external world really affected me. What other people were doing or saying around me really affected how I felt. I never felt that I could really commit to what I truly wanted it was I'd start things and then I would stop doing them for whatever reason and then I would feel all this shame and guilt and not good enough and not worthy enough and and whether that be just for myself with exercise or eating or or whether that was because of um, for my family my kids whether I wasn't showing up for them and this real feeling of lack unworthiness and no confidence, no confidence to live who I truly was or who I truly am. I didn't feel I could show up as that person, that that person would be judged or wouldn't be good enough. So my attention when I first started working with Monique in the first Sally journey was to connect to me, find my true authentic self. I felt my, my first Sally journey was... Um, it opened me up to a whole new world, I suppose. I, it was magical, but so hard. There were times when I really thought that or felt like I wished I could just go back, that I hadn't brought all these things to the surface, that it was easier not to feel than to feel. I didn't want to experience all the grief, the anger, the sadness that was coming to the surface, that all that emotion that I buried deep inside me. I definitely found the first Sally journey the hardest out of all of them. Well, I've done two Sally journeys and an Authentic Boundaries course now, but the first Sally journey was definitely the hardest. And then I felt I couldn't share my story. I couldn't talk about it because I, what I was going through was not, um, not as bad or I wasn't as worthy or it didn't seem as important as what other people were going through, their stories were worse or their hardship was worse than mine. But I felt that I could always message Monique personally about that. And then her guidance really helped me to feel that my story was worth telling. I think finding my voice and the strength to speak about my experiences was one of the biggest things I took away from the first Sally journey. And I just kept peeling back the layers finding more healing with every journey, with every practice, with every Zoom call, with every get together, with the community. And when triggers came up and all the things that life brings with it, could use the tools that have been provided by Monique, the, the learnings from the journeys, the, the practices to really navigate, navigate through the layers, navigate the emotion, navigate the experience. It's been a big two years and I wouldn't change any of it for the world actually now. The biggest is finding the love, the love for me, most of all, in all parts of me. Finding my voice, my worthiness, and being able to sit with experiences, with my experiences, and bring the curiosity and the experience, the awareness, sorry, and find that everything is within me that I have the tools, the awareness, the love, the compassion, the kindness to ebb and flow with life and all the experience it brings. What I love most about the way Monique teaches and guides and shares, that's a biggie because I, there's so many things, but her openness and her 
thoughtfulness, her truly feeling like someone cares has been huge for me. Her communication is second to none. I, whenever I message, I always get a message back. <laughs> Makes me emotional. <laughs> I feel understood in just the way she holds space for me and for others. Her honesty, just that she genuinely cares. I feel really heard and accepted and appreciated for just being me. I feel like Mon knows the seeds of healing and transformation are within each of us. And she really guides us so we can discover and activate those seeds. And I really feel a sense of that I have the power, that I can step into my power now. It's a really supportive environment. And also the way she celebrates the wins, my successes, other people's successes, no matter how big or how small. I think most of all, how she guides me to journey back to me, to learn about me for my higher self with curiosity. Never telling me what I should do, but offering suggestions and letting me find my way. The practices she creates are done in the same unique way, so I feel everyone finds their own path or healing on their own journey, unique to their own needs. I'm hugely grateful for my journeys and where it's led me to today. I really feel like I'm finding me and enjoying who I am. You definitely won't regret uh, going on your journey with Monique, letting her guide you and help you achieve you what you want in your life. I've received so much more than I ever thought possible, and I think you will too. Thanks for listening, everyone.